This is Garrett Hardin's Tragedy of the Commons, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, but I'll just re recount the, the, the basic story. So Garrett Hardin was an ecologist. He was especially worried about the problem of overpopulation, but, but his parable really applies to almost any major social problem. And uh, it goes like this. So you have a bunch of herders who are raising their sheep on a common pasture. And these are very rational herders. And they think to themselves, should I add another animal to my herd? And they say, well, uh, when I get to market, if I have another animal, that's one more animal I can sell. That sounds good. That's the, that's the benefit. What's the cost? Well, the cost is not much. It's For me, it's grazing. The animals graze on this common pasture. And so I gain something substantial. I don't pay very much. I'll add another animal. And every herder has the same thought. And as a result, they grow and grow and grow their herds. And then it gets to a point where there are too many animals for the commons to support. And as a result, all the animals die. And everybody ends up being worse off. Um, and this is, this is the fundamental social dilemma. Uh, that is when there's a tension between what's good for me as an individual and what's good for us collectively. When, when our interests are perfectly aligned, there's no problem. And when our interests are perfectly opposed, there's a problem, but there's not really anything that we can do about it. Life gets interesting, and life is most interesting most of the time when there's a tension between the me perspective and the us perspective. But it's not a zero-sum game. There are a lot of different ways in which the, 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 the problem of cooperation can be solved. Um, so let me illustrate this point further with my, my own personal sequel to, to Hardin's parable. So imagine that you have this large forest. And around this very big forest, you have a lot of different tribes. And they're all raising their herds. But they raise their herds in different ways. They live in different ways. So uh, over here you have, let's say, your individualist tribe, where they say, you know, Enough of this common pasture. We're just going to privatize it. We're going we're to divide up the, 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 the commons. Everybody gets their own plot of land. And that's one way of, of solving the problem. Now it's just everybody's on their own. And the cooperation consists in just everybody staying out of each other's territory. That can work, perhaps. Another way, the opposite extreme, is to, is to have your communist tribe, where they say, we're not only going to have a common pasture, we're just going to have one common herd. And that, perhaps, is, is, is one way of solving the problem. Um, Tribes can differ in a lot of other ways. So what happens when someone, again, encroaches on your herd? Do you have a strict code of honor where you have to go after and kill them and their family if someone does something nasty to one of your sheep? Or do you have a more harmonious attitude where you say, you know, we, 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 we live and let live? Uh, different tribes can have different what I call proper nouns. So different texts, different leaders, different gods that they pray to. Uh, you know, no two tribes are going to be praying to the same god, right? At least, at least if these are tribes that evolved separately. Um, so you can have a lot of different terms of cooperation. So now we have all these tribes cooperating internally under different terms around this forest. And then there's a big forest fire. And the whole forest burns down. And the rains come. And suddenly, there's this lovely new pasture in the middle. And all the tribes say, hey, that looks nice. And they all move in. Uh, and, and now the question is, how are they going to live on those new pastures? We have individualists and collectivists, and we have tribes that pray to this god versus that god and live by these rules versus that rules, and the ones who defend their honor fiercely and the ones who try to get along with more or less everybody. Those new pastures, that's the modern world. Uh, the modern world is not just about a bunch of individuals trying to get together and be cooperative. It's about a bunch of groups that are separately moral differently moral, separately cooperative, but differently cooperative, all trying to live together in the same space.